Hello everyone and welcome back to Dragon Ball Fighters Online Matches. It's me, Rosin. Gonna get hit right away here with the Dragon Rush. Uh, good job, Super Saiyan Blue Goku. Um, unfortunately, uh, it's kind of a fluke on this guy's part. He's not some master player that just completely kicked my ass. But uh, I wanted to show this match off uh, for our second episode here just to start it off. Because I feel like I've actually made quite a bit of progress. Uh, over the past few days, uh, I kind of had a Dragon Ball moment where as soon as I released a video and kind of verbalized uh, the fact that I wanted to get better and start trying hard, uh, it started happening. So, hey, who knew? Fighting games take practice, right? But uh, I spent some time in training mode, uh, worked on my execution, because I said last time that's one of the things I really wanted to work on. Uh, unfortunately, I feel like I have regressed in one regard. Uh, I used to be a lot better, uh, like a week or two ago I was playing, and I was really consistent with uh, getting the super dash, uh, the enemy super dash is punished with 2H, uh, but for whatever reason, just haven't been able to consistently do it the past few days I've been playing, so I need to work on that again. Like, right there, I was too early with it, and I almost stayed a super, but that guy misjudged uh, the... I think the uh, angle of that, but like you can see right there, uh, got the jump cancels figured out a little bit better. Uh, still miss them occasionally, but uh, I found what I was doing is I really needed to exaggerate my diagonal movements uh, from what I was doing previously. Like I, I think I was moving more forward than I was diagonally uh, previously, so. Uh, definitely getting better with that. Uh, I still sometimes super jump uh, when I should be just regular jumping after uh, doing a medium ground attack. So I still need to work on that. Uh, but I do think I have been doing a lot more consistently well. Uh, and also, too, just practicing uh, when to go in, when not to go in, uh, that sort of thing. Which really, I, I guess, the only way you can really know is through lots of research or just getting used to it over time as you... Play. And uh, I feel like I'm not maybe at that research point yet of getting better. Actually, I probably am now. Um, but I still feel like there's a lot I can gain just by playing a bunch of matches and just kind of seeing what works and what doesn't and uh, learning via trial and error in different situations of what I can get away with and what I should uh, maybe play a little bit more defensively. So Trunks killed our first character here. Always nice to see another Trunks online. Uh, that was <laughs> not the best usage of meter, but oh well. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have a little trunks off here. That, that sounds really inappropriate, I'm sorry. I blame Toriyama for his naming conventions. He probably could have gotten away with uh, hitting me with the level 3 there, but he, uh, he didn't go for it. Uh, he doesn't really necessarily seem to be all that familiar with the game systems and stuff though too I will say so um, I feel kind of bad for choosing this clip because I don't necessarily oh damn okay you got a good vanish there though so maybe I'm not giving him enough credit that's the fun part of looking back in all these matches is I get to uh, prove myself wrong uh, it's like a weird sort of commentator's curse but got him with the sliding medium so hey did that uh, but yeah, I do feel bad for beating up on this guy a little bit. Uh, honestly, I kind of wanted to show this off just because uh, I wanted to show off this next match because it gets wild uh, a little bit. But yeah, you can see my combo execution there. Really proud of that, nice and clean. Uh, actually, that's one thing. So I, you might be wondering why I didn't go for the super there. Uh, I've been noticing that a lot of players actually just don't end with the super always just because they want to preserve meters to do big damage later when they really need to. Uh, so I've been kind of trying to keep an eye on that, so like I didn't do it there either. I'm probably going to go for a level 3, just because I've been kind of... Usually when I get around 3 or 4 bars, I kind of pay it off. Oh yeah, I'm definitely going to go for the level 3. I can feel it. I, I know what this all builds up to. Uh been doing a better job of reacting to vanishes like that actually too uh, I need to work on um, blocking them uh, but there's a lot of moves that just slide you out of the way especially like 2M for a lot of characters so anyways he tagged in Vegeta so I was like oh fuck it free level 3 right so gonna do a lot of damage to blue Vegeta there got the overhead and the combo right after too which is really nice 
Aw, oh, I tried going for a level 3 there again, but for whatever reason it fucked up. But it's okay, because we got the Dragon Rush, which means another level 3 right here. <laughs> this one did a absurd amount of uh, hits just because we got that Dragon Rush previously. Another overhead into the combo. Oh, uh, look at that meter. Oh, oh. Three bars, so you know what that means. We're gonna go for a third level 3, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Yeah, I was really happy with that one and blow up the planet. Uh, that was ridiculous and I kind of just wanted to show off this match. One, because I felt like it uh, it really showed my progress I've made even since my last video. Uh, and I'm really proud of that, except not that was bad. Uh, he hits me with this a few times actually with his Goku. Um, I don't know if that's part of his auto combo chain or what that is, but he has that overhead and I'm just really bad at dodging it, or blocking it rather. See, there you hit me again another time with that. Yeah, it didn't kill my second character, thankfully, but... Pretty close. Oh, yeah, that might be it for Goku. Oh, nope, he tried to Dragon Rush, but... Didn't quite get what he wanted. Take in that 16. And there we go. So, yeah, I mean, this... I feel like he played better. Ooh, okay, yeah, that dive kick. Oof. <laughs> it's okay, 16's charging attacks are, uh... More than enough to deal with dive kick nonsense. So, uh, but yeah, he, he's playing a little bit better this second round. That or I'm playing worse. Um, <laughs> either or. Once again, though, he's staying on a lot of meter. I mean, only going for level ones, really. He probably could have done something to go for that level three. But I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure if he knows that level threes exist. But I do, which I'm going to do another one right here. <laughs> Don't know if this is going to kill, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like it did. I, I've been trying to... A lot of the times after I land that 16, level 3, I'll just go for the overhead right away because it catches some not-as-good players um, a lot. But what I've, been, uh, what I've been realizing is I can't rely on that. I should maybe not make that a habit. So I'm trying to figure out what I should be doing after getting that level 3 off. So yeah, here we go. We got another uh, person. Woo. I I showed I wanted to show this match um, for two reasons again. One because he's a little bit better. So I thought you know hey let's show off uh, a more um, equally matched uh, round I guess. And also too I just really liked this guy's team. I thought it was really unique and uh, interesting. Uh, I think I said last time I played Kid Vu a little bit and I wouldn't mind messing around with him again. I guess he's he's a very bizarre character which uh, has kind of become a joke within the community that. Kid Boot players are just the worst and kind of laughing about that. Uh, but he uh, really messed me up in some places in these matches, so I wanted to just show this off. Uh, he's also playing Hit, who I have trouble dealing with Hit, and also Beerus. Uh, they both have moves that really uh, cross you up and are just really hard to, I guess, visually look at and judge. Also, there's a little bit of lag this match, sorry about that. Uh, for those of you who maybe aren't as familiar with the game, if you look up top, you can see that delay button, uh, that delay number, not button, I don't know what I'm talking about. Wouldn't that be great if fighting games just had a lag button? <laughs> would uh, would uh, avoid problems with uh, people screaming lag switchers and stuff, you just need the delay button, just hit the touchpad on your PS4 and you, you're uh, right away to the uh, lag winning. But, um... You can see that delay number right there. Uh, right now we're at three frames of delay. Generally, I, I tend to really feel that number uh, and the effect it's having on my execution when it gets to around five frames of delay. Um, it gets really bad around like seven and eight and it gets to like at that point it's like, oof, this is, we're, we're underwater. Uh, I think the highest I've ever seen was 12 frames of delay and I think we disconnected soon after just because the connection was not stable at all. Uh, got another combo there against Goku Black. I don't know. Yeah, there we go. Went for the DHC just to uh, kill him. I tried going for that aerial grab there just because um, a lot of times when people get stuck in the corner like that, their first instinct is to just jump, and uh, I wanted to catch him if he did that, but he didn't. Uh, actually, I feel like a lot of people have gotten savvy to not always jump like that against 16 just because he can do that uh, anti-air grab. Uh, it's really, really effective, so <laughs> I, I get why people are afraid of it. And this Kid Boo here is really messing me up. So the one thing that Kid Boo is, uh, I think it's his standing, um, 
Uh, okay, actually, I'm proud of this. So, I had a feeling. I had a feeling he was gonna activate Burning right away just to uh, start going into the comeback. So I did my super right off the bat, which was kind of a risky maneuver. He probably could have punished me if he wasn't going for Burning. But I just had a feeling that he was gonna go right into his uh, sparking um, comeback mechanic thing right away. So I just wasted the bar, uh, took, a, took a risk, and it paid off. So really uh, proud of that uh, prediction on my end there. But, uh... Oh, yeah, I'm just getting hit by the Dragon Rushes this video, huh? I didn't even notice that the first time I uh, looked through all these clips, but uh, I need to work on that, definitely. Um, so, one thing I will say, though, about Kid Boo's, um, um is that it, it, like, stretches his legs out, and then he kind of, like, steps on your toes, and, like, zooms in real fast to you, so that he can uh, do more attacks. Uh, and actually, you can actually hit his foot before it hits you in a lot of cases and start to damage uh, Kid Buu. Uh, if you hit his foot, he will zoom to the foot still and you'll be comboing him. Uh, which, it's really weird when I'm describing it. You might be able to see it in the video. I don't know if I did it earlier. Uh, but sometimes you can catch that foot if you don't respect it and uh, start doing some damage. So I want to work with that. It's pretty easy with 16 because, once again, his... Uh, H attack is just ridiculous and will charge through everything. Uh, but you can do it with other characters, I've noticed, too. So, um, don't be too afraid of the foot. I mean, respect it, but also don't be too afraid of it, because you can stop it. Uh, there we go. Okay, I got a Dragon Rush off this time, so that's nice. I don't think I'm going to be able to get that level 3 off, though. You know what? I probably... Ooh, I don't know why I Kamehameha had up in the air like that. That must have been an accident. Uh, I don't know why I didn't just go into the level 3 with Goku, though. See, okay, that was a super dash that I read, uh, but I unfortunately didn't get the full combo off of. That one, I once again, I did the H too early. That one, I did it too late. <laughs> Very frustrating to deal with uh, Kid Buu. It's, it, like, I feel like 16's big weakness. Uh, this probably isn't like any... I mean, none of the knowledge here that I'm... Uh, that I'm saying really should be taken too seriously because I am, for all intents and purposes, a fairly bad player of this game, so I'm probably saying a bunch of shit that's wrong, uh, just keep that in mind. But uh, I, I feel like um, 16 has a lot of problems dealing with characters who are really fast. Uh, Kid Buu gives my 16 problems, and I noticed Team Gohan is actually quite the problem too. I think I once again missed the jump cancel there. I was happy I did that. I tried to go into the level 3, but unfortunately that doesn't work, so I learned that. Um, and there we go, that was the uh, leg I was talking about. He hit me with it. And when he, when uh, Kid Buu eats you like that as part of his auto combo, um, he has a regular move that does that too. Uh, he does regain a little bit of life, so that's something to watch out for. Really zoned me out with the uh, Goku Black there. Once again, that ooh, I was not happy with that 2H too early. This is quite the reversal from a last match. I, oh, got a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> shoulda, shoulda jumped first or done something, but he called me out on my bullshit, and he did exactly what I did to him. But the only difference being I had more health, so I could take it. But unfortunately, I don't even know how I got hit by that. I must have jumped, because uh, as far as I know, a dragon rush in the air like that can only hit you if you're in the air. Uh, so yeah, he's going to take me out, and I didn't even get a character killed that match. Uh, or I didn't kill one of his characters even that match, so really salty, but let's see how this third match goes. Gonna gonna put my uh, try hard cap on and really take this one seriously. See, okay, there you go. If you just mash a button like that when the dragon rush hits you and uh, you're not like, I think it's basically like if you're not in recovery, like you're not recovering from using another move and you hit a button when you get dragon rushed, you just like tech it, which means you just do that like. Uh, trade, and then you don't go flying into the air. Andy, eat me once again. Restore that little bit of health he lost. So yeah, things aren't looking good, but there we go. Managed to open him up, and I didn't get the launcher, unfortunately. So I saw that after he likes to miss super dashes, he likes to do that leg move. So I punished that with the 2H. And that worked out in my favor. Managed to do a shit ton of life. Went for the trunk sword slashy slash. Did it again, but I was too early. 
I'm, I'm, I think that's something I'm noticing, Trent, here, not just my two H's, but, uh, some of my overheads and stuff, too. I get really antsy, I think, when there's, uh, when there's, like, a moment to breathe in these matches, and I, uh, I just tend to jump the gun and do things a little too early. There we go, that was a good overhead, though. Uh, so maybe I need to pay attention to that more. I think I'm gonna go for the level three here, kill Goku Black. Hell yeah, I am. This match is going a lot more better for me. Unfortunately, didn't kill him, but opened him up. Managed to use that beam assist to confuse him a little bit, so that was good. Got to deal with his hit, like I said. Sometimes I have trouble dealing with him, but uh, I, I feel like hits are a thing where... um, And probably the same with Beerus, it's just I fight so little Beeruses. Uh, I fought in a fair amount of hits, I feel. Uh, he, he realized I was just spamming Key Blast there, so he fucked me up, but... Um, or at least he tried to, but... Uh, one thing I have been noticing is, um, I think Hit looks a lot more intimidating and hard to deal with than he actually is. And we're starting to lag a little bit here, which is unfortunate. Tried to get the super off, but didn't work. So I'm gonna go for one more combo for the win. But he rage quit. What a loser. Now, to be fair, we were lagging a little bit from time to time in that match. Maybe he just lost connection. But I think he rage quit. Anyway, so that felt really good. I, I, I don't know. It just felt like in that moment, all of my practice and hard work had really paid off. And, you know, I, I made someone mad enough because uh, I was good. Which made me feel, well, I mean, I played good in comparison to them. I was less bad than they were is what I should probably be saying. Uh, but yeah, that, that was a good, nice moment of, oh, hey, I, I'm good enough to make people mad, <laughs> I guess. This guy's also playing hit, and also Team Gohan, like I said. Team Gohan, I've heard a lot of... I, I, I feel like I see a lot of people saying Team Gohan isn't very good, but uh, I have trouble dealing with him just because he is so fast. There's probably just something I'm missing in terms of dealing with him. Uh, this guy is also, in my opinion, quite the decent player, at least compared to me. I went for the Kamehameha, he hit me with the level 1 right away. He probably could have DHC'd, but I guess he didn't want to, probably... Save the meter. There we go. Combo time. I like to uh, do the super just after that free kick, even though I can't do much with it, just because uh, at least it's something. But uh, actually, one thing I, I do twice in these matches, I did it once there, uh, is uh, I've been really practicing punishing that Gohan super just because it's so easy to slide in and then just get a full combo off of if they miss it. I was very happy I hit that boo assist there, even though it didn't do the greatest amount of damage because Gohan died right away, but uh, it felt good. This is some tech. You're just like, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna just do the boo explosion. Uh, don't see too many fat boo players online, which uh, I'm kind of surprised because he seems like he's uh, a problem <laughs> a little bit. Like, he, he seems like he has some really cool stuff going on. But yeah, 16's in a bit of trouble here, but got the full rush off. Going into the level 3. Honestly, I probably should have... Uh, I guess my other characters are currently in cooldown, so I probably couldn't have. But, um... Or I guess I really only have Goku left anyways. But, uh, yeah, I had a, uh... Realization there I probably should have just did the Android 16 level 1 and then going to Goku's level 3. But I don't, I don't think I could have since I was, like I said, in cooldown. But, yeah, doing a pretty good job. I feel pretty confident with my ability. I fucked up and did a drag rush instead of the level 3, but then I just mashed out another level 3 anyways. That was really bad of me, really shouldn't have done that, but he tried to do the 2H, so it worked out in my favor anyways. Uh, that's a little embarrassing on my behalf, but eh, fuck it, it worked out right, that's all that matters. Man, I'm really enjoying uh, this series so far though, even though I, I'm probably just gonna do them weekly. Uh, but not only is it giving me, like, uh, something to kinda drive... And, hey, we killed him with another 2M. Woo! But, uh, something I've really appreciated about this is it gives me a drive to practice and keep playing this game, uh, especially when it's very easy for me to get lost in something like Monster Hunter World or, you know, doing whatever else I'm doing. Uh, so, I really appreciate doing this just because it gives me that, uh, energy to keep playing and getting better and, you know, kind of make stuff for you guys. Uh, and then also... 
uh, I really like looking at these matches again just because as I'm forced to talk over them and uh, have something to say, which sometimes I'm kind of struggling for what I should be talking about here, um, like right now, uh, it's giving me some perspective and making me realize, like, oh, hey, this is a thing that I do that I probably need to stop. So, actually, that is, that's maybe some advice I can give to everyone, because uh, I think Xbox has uh, sharing features, too. It's pretty easy to record on PC, and PS4, I know for a fact, you can just record videos on um and well i guess actually you don't even need to because the game has its own replay functionality which i've never used but I, it's probably good it's hard to fuck that up uh, i don't know why i tagged in boo there um that was weird but yeah just go back and look at your matches and see what you're fucking up and maybe use that to figure out what you need to practice that get better with oh god boo makes really weird noises when he's getting hit That one, I felt kind of weird on, because I probably could have done that a little bit later. I don't know if you can grab him. I actually should probably test that. I don't know if you can grab him when he's being hit by the uh, Kamehameha Super. I don't know if you can uh, go right into the level 3 after he starts getting hit. Um, but, yeah, maybe a little bit too early. This was just a bad level 3 on his part. I don't know what he was thinking. Maybe he thought I pressed a button or something, or I was going to super dash in. Once again, do, did the Dragon Rush instead of the uh, Super there for some reason. That's uh, that's maybe something else I need to work on. Man, it's really nice watching these in 60 FPS, by the way, just because, once again, this game looks gorgeous. Um, last uh, time I recorded, uh, I used OBS, and I just used a 30 FPS preset I had. Uh, but my capture card actually just lets me record without a computer to an SD card. Uh, and I started doing that, and I didn't realize that uh, just with the SD capture, it's still in 60 FPS. So I'm probably just going to do that from now on. Don't have to lug around my laptop in front of my TV and everything then too. So, yeah. Take a long time to uh, render this out though, because 60 FPS, I tend to avoid making 60 FPS videos just because uh, it's a little bit more time and effort on my part. But hey, this game looks good enough that uh, I, I definitely want to. And also for something more technical like a fighting game like this, uh, especially in like a competitive sense, you're going to want it uh, as close looking to the original game as possible. So I'm going to definitely uh, try keeping these 60 FPS. Unless some weird technical error prevents me from doing so. So yeah, he's down to hit and boo here. I believe in my 16 enough to do something. Got the Dragon Rush off. I was really happy with that. I uh, I think I said last time I wanted to, I want to start Dragon Rushing more. Also, that was just a really bad tag on his part. But once again, I kind of fucked up and I didn't quite get the combo I was looking for. But hit's dead, and that's all that matters. So he hit me with that, and I just said, eh, fuck it. And finally... First time in quite a few matches managed to land this. And you know what happens? That happens. Stop rage quitting. Just don't rage quit. I hit you with the super, it's fine. <laughs> anyway, see you guys around. I'll join you next week with more Dragon Ball Fighter Z's online matches. Have a good one. Bye.